All right, we made it another successful 2.6 miles around Lake Patton. Time to take a few moments for a little bit of gratitude, right? I think today we'll be uh, grateful for the lesson, all right? So we talked the last time about uh, the lesson being the blessing, right? That's what a lot of people say, and that was certainly the case. I was thinking about it today. I saw a piece of uh, advice by uh, Tyler Perry. He came across my feed on Instagram, and he was talking about... Uh, it was kind of interesting because he mixed uh, several different analogies into one piece of advice. At first he was saying... Uh, you have a boat going on a journey, you're not going to invite, every, you don't have to invite everybody on the boat. You know, not everybody's ready to travel on that journey. And then he kind of uh, mentioned uh, that maybe it's a flight, they can't handle the altitude, right? But, uh, and then he kind of ended with uh, being on a kid on a merry-go-round, you know, some of the, the weak that can't hold on are going to fly off, you know. So uh, three pieces of advice there, but kind of one general lesson, you know. It's not for everybody. It's not an all aboard type of mentality anymore. Uh, you're chasing a goal. It doesn't have to be everybody involved as part of it. Um, you kind of feel that way sometimes when you're on uh, social media. Like, uh, come on aboard, you know, join the journey, join the adventure. I'm trying to do uh, achieve a few things, you know, have some fun and uh, join this uh, process. But uh, it's not for everybody, you know. And the one thing I like to think about is, uh, you know, just because you co-sign somebody, don't expect them to co-sign you. And uh, even if they're not directly co-signing you, they may be doing it in a different way. You know, to continue with the analogies, you know, you have a pyramid of cheerleaders. You have the base, and then you have those on top waving the pom-poms, you know. They might be part of that base, you know, that you built up over the years, but they don't want to get on top of the pyramid and... Uh, wave the pom-poms for you. They're not really about uh, championing you that way, but uh, they're still there as the base. So uh, I guess you just have to accept them as a, a co-signing you as a base member and uh, look for those who are uh, ready to be on the top of that uh, pyramid and joining you on your uh, on your journey that way. Yeah, me personally, I'm kind of, you know, the top of the pyramid type of person. I'll like, I'll comment, I'll share. I'll uh, even give you a mention in the content, you know, I have no problem doing that. I'm, I'm thinking about it as building a web, you know. Let's continue with the analogies, right? It's a big spider web, you know. If we're just uh, making another web, part of the web, join up my web, you know. There's always uh, room for more. Um, and, uh, you know, I saw a piece of content come through on my uh, feed as well seven years ago. And you see all those faces, you know. Uh, some people do go by the wayside. Some people fall off. Some people you're cursing at now. You say, uh, good riddance, but, uh, you know, others, you know, are friendly faces that just uh, aren't around anymore for whatever reason or another. And uh, you had to kind of move on and uh, create that new um, group of people who can uh, co-sign you and feel comfortable doing it as you uh, move forward in new chapters of your life and new adventures. And uh, welcome those people into your life. So I guess be grateful for those who are around you at this moment, you know, and then... Uh, be open to others joining the, the journey as you continue on, right? So gratitude, uh, be grateful who co for those who co-sign you publicly and those who co-sign you in rooms where people are talking about you and you're not around. You know, you need those people around as well because there's a lot of rumors floating around these days. People are quick to flap their gums about you when you're not around and uh, when you're not there to defend yourself, sometimes you need those... Uh, bottom base base of the pyramid people around to uh, stand up for you so I'm lucky I have some of those people in my life and um, others also on the top of the pyramid to uh, wave those pom-poms when I do something good so it happens I see it let's continue the gratitude I guess I'm grateful to be uh, have the freedom to get out here and kind of take a day off um, although I did a lot of work this morning on YouTube and eBay uh, the focus is more on the health, you know, getting out here and continuing to run to um, take care of my body and my health and uh, try to eat a little cleaner and uh, prepare for this spring season of uh, adventure, you know, getting on some hikes and being able to, to challenge myself a little bit physically and uh, be ready for it because uh, it's right around the corner. I'm looking forward to it and I think I'm, uh, each one of these runs, I feel like I'm training up a little bit to... Uh, Get out early on hikes and uh, stay out late uh, this spring and it's going to be a, a great spring and hopefully an even better summer. So uh, I got a lot of ideas about the content I want to do and uh, hopefully some of those doors were still open for me to uh, 
walk through. Um, we built some good relationships last year as part of this YouTube thing, and um, I think some more people are joining, obviously. Sub subscriber counts are up. We got another one in today, so uh, put some videos up there, and hopefully people will continue to watch, and that uh, watch time and that subscriber count will go up. Grateful for all of you guys who have uh, joined the journey, and hopefully uh, I'll see you somewhere down the road. So that's a healthy little uh, amount of uh, gratitude for the for the day. I think I'm going to go down to the waterfront, give you guys a look, check out Lake Patton a little, see what we can see, and uh, then head home and do a little bit more eBay work. Um, like I said, these gratitude moments are part of my daily vlog, the day in the life of a reseller vlog. Put that out every morning, so if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, watch that every morning you can make a habit of it Get these tracks through here it looks like somebody drove through here I know they come out here to clean the to, to clean out the garbage sometimes maybe the road the maintenance vehicle did those but uh, they had a little issue getting through here a little bit muddy there all right we made it down here to the water's edge it was a little colder out here today than previous days uh, we had a little warm front come through but uh, it's definitely a little cold I forgot my gloves at home and uh, took a while to warm up on the trail today but uh, I got heated up eventually let me give you guys a look at this lake it's uh, nice and chilly down here here's a look at it luckily that wind is not blowing it's still uh, nice and calm here on the waterfront but uh, here's a little bundle of sticks that gather here at the shoreline I saw a little batch of ducks fly in here, kind of those small ducks, and I was hoping they would fly in again. Maybe I could get a shot of them. That would have been really awesome if they land right here. They too tend to come in here, uh, right in this area, so uh, kind of hanging out here, seeing if we can spot them again. I saw them earlier when I finished my run, but uh, they're not here right it's now. It's kind of amazing how they can all fly in in unison. You kind of marvel at that. Uh, they're able to accomplish that, not crash into each other or hit each other's wings you know they're just like a blue angels almost just flying in there just perfectly and they all land in the one one uh, fell swoop right there in the water uh, it's quite a sight to see I want to get some footage like that one of these I days I like looking at this stump For some reason something calls to me it's like a perfect little photo maybe So there's the far end of the lake over there that's where those ducks came in I think they are sitting over there. there's a few of them over there so I might head over there and see what we can find there's not as many as uh, there was earlier, but there's three or four, I think. So let's head over there and see if we can get them. Yeah, they're over there on the other side of this fence here, kind of uh, tucked away. They keep ducking under the water there and coming back up. It must be cold under that water. But this is kind of the area they tend to hang out and then uh, fly to that area we were just at. But uh, looks like they're pretty content with just sitting out there and ducking under that water. There's a big one. Is that a... Heron or something? That's a big duck flying across there. You guys There's see a little that? wildlife out here. It looks like they put some sort of caution uh, um, barrier here for some reason. I guess they uh, don't want folks to get out there and uh, get in that water. Maybe it's contaminated with some stuff. But uh, yeah, here's a look at it today. There's a little bird right there. Can you see him? He's been flopping around here. That's about as close as he's going to let me get though. Let's see if we can take a few steps closer, see if he'll fly away. He's right on the other side of that log there. Going gentle, maybe we'll catch a glimpse of him. There he is. You guys see him? Hop, hop, hopping along. We're zoomed in as close as we can get, but uh, there he is, just a little thing. I wonder if this is a nest right here. It looks almost like it is. All kinds of a bundle of grass here. It would be the perfect uh, area to be a little nest. Little bird nest. I guess I shouldn't step on it in case they are in there. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little look at Lake Padden. Got a couple ducks, a couple birds. Let there be light um, and a uh, little wildlife out there for you. Cut the run a little bit short. We're running a low on battery. I tend to come out here with a low battery sometimes, but uh, we got what we got today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and you'll be back for another look at Lake Padden in the future. Kind of my, one of my favorite places to go running and kind of uh, explore. So you'll probably see a lot of that up on my channel if you guys uh, subscribe and come back. But uh, now I'm going to head home and uh, get some more work done, uh, package up those orders, and uh, get some more listings up tonight. Uh, hopefully uh, we have time for dinner there somewhere in the mix because uh, I am getting kind of hungry. So I was thinking about that Tyler Perry quote, and he also said, you know, not everybody is there to uh, cross the same finish line at the same time with you. You know, they might start with you, 
and they're not gonna always finish with you um, and they're not supposed to right everybody runs at their own pace you gotta let others catch up that was another part of that analogy uh, he had all kinds of the wise words in one little 30 second clip uh, Maybe someday I'll come up with something clever like that uh, to get all that together in, in one sentence or two. Um, I think it was part of some sort of uh, um, conversation he was having with Gail, Opa's friend. So if you guys want to check that out, I put it up on my uh, Facebook page. You could probably go on Instagram and find it though. Um, kind of some advice from Tyler Perry. Uh, always like to watch some of that stuff online and get some inspiration from others. Yeah, to continue on with that running analogy, you got to realize not everybody is even running the race. You know, some people are happy sitting on the couch as spectators. you got to respect them for that.